Facebook has released perception language model and this video is going to install that model plus we are going to test it out on images and videos. This perception language model is designed to help computers better understand images and videos. It combines a part that processes visual which is image or video and a part that understands language. Unlike some models that use private data or secret techniques, PLM is fully open so anyone can study or use it. Before I show you the installation, let me thank Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. The VM is this Ubuntu 22.04 and I'm going to use this GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. We are going to install this 8 billion parameter model from Hugging Face. But you can go with 1 billion or 3 billion size depending upon your GPU's VRAM. Now going back, let's git clone the repo of this perception LM and I'm going to also give you the link to its repo in video's description. Next up, we need to install a lot of prerequisites from the root of the repo which I'm going to paste here. That is going to take a couple of minutes. And while that happens, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. Installation is going on. Let's talk a bit more about its architecture. And I promise I'm not going to bore you. The creators of this model, which is Facebook, of course, they studied how to train this kind of model using an only available public data. And they figured out where current models struggle, especially when it comes to understanding complex detailed information in videos like what's happening over time and specific details. To improve this, they built a huge new data set with 2.8 million carefully labeled video examples much bigger than what was previously available and that should help make models much better at seeing and understanding what's happening in those videos and images using language models and that is what i'm going to test out in this video also it's a gated model so you need to go to hugging face log in with your free email account and then accept the terms and conditions and then you would also grab your read token from your Hugging Face profile and log into Hugging Face CLI, which I will show you shortly. Everything is installed. Now let's log into Hugging Face. It is going to ask for your read token, which I'm going to paste now. And this is my read token. Just press capital Y. And you can see that my login is now successful. Now, the good thing is that thankfully they um, provide a script for generating the output. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to simply use their provided script from their repo, which is generate.py. And the checkpoint is that 1 billion, maybe I will, uh, okay, let's go with 1 billion. I, I just copy pasted it from their repo. Uh, we could go with 8 billion, but as I have already pasted, and then I'm giving it, a path to a video file in mp4 format from my local system and i'm asking it describe this video and it has given me the error that this one is restricted the reason is because i had accepted um, the you know gated access for 8 billion one so let me change my command and it takes around when you apply for the access it i have seen that it takes around a couple of hours i'm not just going to pause this video for a couple of hours so i'm just going to change it to 8 billion and run it and now you can see that it is downloading the model the size is just 19.6 gig so let's wait for it and it was fairly quick the model not only got downloaded but then it was very quickly uh, was able to describe the video there you go so let me show you the video it's an AI generated one and please don't catch my cat so this is a cat just standing on the rock doing some motions now of course I created it with runway so thank you to the runway for the video now it has said that a cat is standing on a rock and then it lowers its 
front pause which is quite correct okay let's try it out with one more video okay next up i'm going to just run this video where i'm just speaking in the microphone okay so let me run this to see what it does here and it is going to load the model again and while it does it let's check the vram consumption I should run that and we top maybe. People keep telling me, but I think it is not using my GPU at all, which is funny. I can't believe that it is running on CPU. So just hang on, let me go here and you see it has loaded the model, but it's still not using my GPU. Interesting. So I'm just going to use this watch command on my GPU card. Now you see it is doing it. Uh, so it was consuming over 40 gig if I saw it correctly. No worries, we can do it again later. So if you look here, it says a man is sitting in a chair and talking into microphone, which is quite correct. So the perception of the model is quite right. And the video's quality is not good by the way, but still it was able to do it. And this is a token per second. Now let's try out this model on an image. Now I'm using the same generate.py, but you see that now I am using media type as image here and I have given it the path and path to the image now. So let's run this. And while it runs, we will also check the VRAM consumption in real time, which is going to change because I'm using watch command. And this is the image which I am using here. Now, also make sure that if you are testing out this model or using it this model for any use case this model is best suited for understanding of objects actions scenes or relationships uh, in the images or video it is not really optimized for ocr tasks or charting and tables so for example images of everyday life complex scenes social activities sports animals or events i think um, wherever you need to describe what's happening, analyze object or answering questions about the visual content is quite meaningful as far this model is concerned. Anyway, I will let it run. And the model has returned as the response. So you see, if I compare the response of the model, it is quite perfect. That image depicts a serene scene of two women standing together in a lush. The description is quite good. It has even described um, the dress and then also the relationship, that companionship and all that stuff, are, you know, as the two friends take in the breathtaking view of the mountains. Okay, cool. Let's try out a few more. Okay, in the next image, I am providing it this scene, which is again an AI generated one. And this is a wedding scene. So let's see if it is able to recognize that and what sort of description it gives. I will also keep an eye on this VRAM consumption because it just, once it starts processing, it just goes by. But I will tell you how much uh, does it consume. So you see now the VRAM is being consumed, as you can see. So it reaches around, you know, over 41, maybe 42 gig of VRAM, which is quite high for an 8 billion model for just the, uh, um, task of checking it out anyway i think it also jumped a bit more so if you look at this image and then read the description it has very very clearly identified what is happening what are the characters and then this is a description about bright this is a groom and in the background and then image is one of happiness and celebration capturing a special moment in the couple's life Okay, now let's just for the fun of it, let's try to do an OCR. So in this example, I have just given it this text, which contains some English words, some German, Hindi, Arabic, and few other languages, Russian too. So let's see if it is able to recognize this, that text and if it, you know, extracts it. So it has returned us the response. Let's check it out. So you see, it is, says in the pursuit of happiness, we often, which is good, 
now i think it is only english but for the english one it has done a good job all the english characters not bad at all even some of the spanish too and german too what do you think in this you this one is quite good anyway so it can do ocr not bad i was not really expecting it but i still would think that it's not really a suitable model for ocr anyway uh, if it can do this let's try out maybe a tabular data so next up i have given it this uh, tables image where i have some columns and i'm asking it which journal has the lowest circulation let's see if it is able to do that you can see that from here this the consultant pharmacist has the lowest circulation let's see if it is able to give us that name of the journal and there you go so it has said the consultant pharmacist with 6000 you know what it can do the tables too so i was not expecting it but it has really performed um, beyond my expectation so always good to see when models exceed your expe expectations so you know it can even do you know possible ocr for english and few other languages of course and tabular data too but i think if you are looking for some perception related stuff from images everyday life seems like a real good model let me know your thoughts if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching